Hello guys, welcome to Henry channel. In today's video, I will show you how to upgrade the RAM for an HP EliteBook 735G6. How to remove the battery. I will not physically remove the battery, but show you the steps to take to remove the battery and where to locate the BIOS battery. Oh, and I forgot to mention where the SSD is and it's only one screw to remove. So let's get started guys. So this is the RAM to upgrade. I've already showed you the tools. Right guys, let's get started. Turn the laptop on the other side. Now, as you can see, it says HP Elite Book 73 5G6. Now remove these screws. Well, they're not gonna physically remove, but unscrew them. So let's recap all these screws, unscrew them. Now tilt the laptop just like this. Now with the tool, you have to work away across to unclip it. So use something like this, it's very effective. Just like this guys. You're going to just slide it across and it will just unclip. I'll just fast forward this video to make it more quicker, the process. So anyway, look, that back cover is released. It comes off. Put that to one side. Now, this is the empty bank slot. For the memory ddr4 memory it's already got one stick of hgb so what we're going to do now is upgrade the ram put additional extra hgb in there so let's get started guys all right this is the memory you've got to turn it uh, around this side okay you've got to put it this side I just push it down it should click just bear with me just like this all right that's the upgrade completed for the memory now this is your CMOS battery slash RTC battery whichever you want to name it so this is where it's located I'm not going to remove I'm just going to show you it's very easy just pull it out from there from that connector and it will come out by pulling it out you're going to reset the BIOS right guys this is the SSD M2 connector now the battery so where my finger is pointed, remove these screws. I'm not going to remove the battery. I'm just going to show you the way to remove it. That one there. So once all the screws are removed, this cable connector, you got to pull it out from there. And then you got to lift up the battery. Very simple procedure. right so once that's all done you've got to just put that case back on screw it back on and that's it i hope this video has given you some insight some knowledge and understanding on how to conduct your upgrade or replace a part right guys i hope this video has helped you please like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video